Who is one popular celebrity that you dislike strongly? Khloe Kardashian The amount of disrespectful behavior she has on anything is disgusting. The amount of disrespect she gives especially to people who are fat is horrible regarding she took her fat out and shoved it into her butt. Seriously B you can't tag rag on folks for their weight if you need custom made pants. Chris Brown. I'm sure Rihanna was not the first or last woman he's abused. It disappoints me that he's still so popular, especially with women. Last week he received three nominations for the 2021 American Music Awards. How is this man still a thing and why is he still embraced by the music industry? He must be selling a crap ton of records because I cannot comprehend how anyone would want to celebrate him. I'm pretty sure the police report and the picture of freshly beating Rihanna are gonna be seared into my brain forever. It's awful. He's awful. Oprah. Phony and fake. Don't be fooled by all this everyone gets a car bulls. She is as narcissistic as they come. Philanthropic my butt. It's all about her and what it will do for her. Cannot stand anything to do with her or her brand. Now I'm angry. Oprah is the worst pseudoscience peddling. Fake empathy performing. Sexual predator enabling. Narcissistic sociopathic phony ever. I hate her to the deepest depths of heck. The podcast maintenance phase always comes back to Oprah. Like she somehow pops up in all the slimy, snake oil type people. Because of her we have really awful people that have a platform. Doctor. Oz. Doctor. Phil. Weight Watchers. Although she was just the spokeswoman, there's some others but I can't remember. But it seems like Oprah is always involved in these really predatory people. Madonna. Does she have good, or decent, music? Yes. Is she iconic? I won't deny that. But one thing I noticed is how disrespectful she is. She's talented but personality matters the most to me, even in a celebrity. She stayed at the hotel across the street from my construction site. We're allowed to make noise at 7am. At the time we had massive excavation equipment running. We try our best to push our startup closer to 8am. Cause noise sucks. I don't know who she bribed. But the next day the city rolls through and says absolutely no noise before 10am for the next 3 days. Nina Dobrev. Everyone thinks she's the sweetest person but she was an absolute bee to my friend at a festival for having taken a photo of the artist playing. Nina apparently thought my friend was trying to take a flash photo of her and grabbed the phone out of her hand and threw it. It ruined our night because we couldn't find the phone in a crowd of people. Find my iPhone wasn't helpful because everything was so loud. But yo I have a similar story but it's with Ariana Grande. I met her when I was just a little kid and she treated me like crap and it broke my heart because I loved her so much. Chrissy Teigen. She uses her brain dead Twitter followers to harass people who offend her or insult her and she has terrible opinions. She's the worst kind of two online celeb. I'll never forget her sending her followers after a small time food journalist who was a fan of hers but said very politely Tygon's LA food guide wasn't that great Lomeo Chrissy got so upset. Quote tweeted her to be rude and to have her followers pile on that poor woman. Thin skinned and petty f. Yes. She spouts how she and John aren't invited to many weddings and she assumes it's because people think they're busy. But honestly I think it's because other celebs see how she is online. Or have met her in person and she's no different. And don't want to risk her causing drama at their wedding. Her attitude has probably cost friendships as well. I actually really don't like Oprah. She kind of strikes me as pretentious. I saw her talking about how much money she spent building schools and all I could think about was how many schools I could build with the money she spent on the massive diamond earrings she was wearing. Then she said something like, if it wasn't for people like me and Nelson Mandela, and I found that really off-putting. Exactly this. She speaks about how humanitarian she is. Then she buys up over 160 acres of native, indigenous land on Maui and makes the roads private. Ellen. I have a friend who was on her show a couple times and he said her whole love everyone and everything were always happy here attitude goes away as soon as she is off stage. She was extremely nice to him but the way she treated staff was just exactly how you imagine someone with more money than sense and an overblown ego would treat employees. And as a kid from a poor area in a not so fortunate family that really messed with him and all of us around him. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. She's a pretentious, greedy scam artist. I thought no one liked her. Drake. Gave him a sincere chance. 
and thought some of his early music was pretty decent. Overall, I think he's got some good music, but despite grooming rumors, I never came around to liking him from a distance since I don't know him. Drake the type of guy to plug his nose when he jumps in the pool. Demi Lovato. Attacking a yogurt shop for having sugar free yogurts and literally things about extraterrestrial not calling them aliens because it is offensive to them. Her songs are great not gonna lie but her ideology is something else. Chrissy Teigen. She is just pretentious and annoying. I thought it was really off color when she posed for a crying pic after her miscarriage that they immediately filtered and posted to IG the day of. Also when she got mad and deleted her Twitter because people were calling her rich. I'm not one to tell people how to own their grief, but I thought that was really weird, too. If I delivered a stillborn baby, a photo op would be the last dank thing on my mind. Tom Cruise. I feel like everyone adores him for his movies but I cannot separate him from his Scientology leadership position. This man is definitely benefiting from a high level of slavery, cult brainwashing, and human abuse. I cannot believe he isn't aware of it. He knows and that makes him guilty of it in my eyes. Winning a rider. Not because of her personality or anything like that but she played such a good bad person in the crucible that I can't like her. Performance 10 stroke 10. This is such a wholesome reason. I liked her interview with David Harbour where she got upset when he kept on fat shaming himself and told him that he shouldn't do that to himself. Demi Lovato. Grew up loving them. They had an amazing voice and I felt genuinely sad for them after both of their overdoses. The yogurt shop incident did me in and now I just find them to be obnoxious. This, Demi is totally obnoxious and out of touch with reality. Cardi B. I'm gonna add my reason for why, when you admit you drug people and stole from, that shows you have no respect and regard for people no matter if they're rich dudes or not. Dr. Phil. He has no psychological experience and proceeds to play therapist for daytime TV. He has no psychological experience. He stopped renewing his license but he definitely did work as a psychologist and does have a BA, MA, and PhD in psychology. I'm not saying I like the guy but to say he has no psychological experience is not true. Gwyneth Paltrow. Snake oil saleswoman. Pandering to a crowd that is quite vulnerable in mental health. Can't freaking stand her crap brand goop. That Turkish beefsteak chef who sprinkles salt from high up along his arm. He has such an arrogant demeanor. His whole shtick is just full of crap. He's not really doing anything particularly skillfully. He's just doing regular crap but with unnecessary flair. Hitting the knife against the cutting board. Flinging pieces of meat across the room. Seasoning your food with some elbow ash in the process. Literally just a sneering tea. The much shorter list would be celebrities I like or that I care enough about to like or dislike. I can never understand why people put so much attention into people they will never meet or get to know properly. All based on an often made up persona they pump out. A long long time ago I used to work in film and TV production. In my entire time being around celebrities etc I only was ever excited to work with one. The rest of the time they were just people who were making a lot more money than I was on the job. I have friends who are bartenders where celebrities come in all the time and they have the same mindset of congratulations you are ex. What do you want to drink and how will you be paying? I wouldn't say he's popular but he's a celebrity. Of sorts. Steven Seagal. His rap sheet is horrendous. Multiple women accused him of sexual assault. Not to mention how much he demanded nudity and sex scenes in his movies just so he can stroke his ego. His list of accusations of sexual misconduct is so massive that it has its own Wikipedia page. He was once an honorary member of Joe Arpaio's police force, and when he was taken to be a part of a raid, he rammed the house of the man who was raided with a freaking tank, also killing the man's dog. Body slammed John Legazamo against a wall because Legazamo made a joke about him. He had only one brief stint on SNL in the early 90s and he was universally disliked by both the cast and the writers. David Spade, in particular, shat hard on him. He was rude to both the cast and the writers, refused to do a hands and friends sketch. A sketch involving Dana Covey and Kevin Nealon playing bodybuilders, because the sketch was implying that either one of the characters could beat up Seagal. He challenged Gene Level, 
a professional judo artist and Hollywood stunt fighter, who, amongst other accomplishments, even trained Bruce Lee, and was an inspiration for Brad Pitt's Cliff Booth character in O-U-A-T-I-H, saying that he couldn't chokehold him. Lebel not only got him in a chokehold, but apparently, Seagal not only passed out, he also shat his pants. Seagal always denies this story. He also loves to be buddy-buddy with dictators around the world, and basically W himself as a court jester for money to them. He actually is friends with Belarus dictator Lukashenko and there is a bizarre video of him eating carrots with Lukashenko. Incredibly rude, with diva behavior all around, and makes constant ridiculous demands in order for him to perform. Which is hilarious since he is a glorified D-list actor who hasn't been famous since the 90s. And lastly, his entire career is a fluke. He got his start in Hollywood because he ran an Aikido dojo in LA and one of his pupils was Michael Ovitz, one of the biggest Hollywood talent agents, and he got Seagal a role in Above the Law, his first feature film, because Ovitz made a bet that he could make anyone a movie star. Dr. Phil is a greater piece of crap. Dr. Phil hasn't had his legal and psychology licenses renewed since when I was an infant in 2006. He also denied a lot of accusations from his diagnoses. Some kids said that the ranch was torture too. Mutual companies were involved in kidnapping lawsuits that Dr. Phil and the parents staged. The ranch was a spot that kids were sent to because they were being disobedient. The kids at the ranch were often neglected by their caregivers and worked severe labor. The kids there may have been smiling in the pictures but their lives at the ranch were comparable to a third world country's slave. Upon that the ranch that doctor. Phil sends most of the kids to haven't had their licenses renewed since 1990. Hugh Joshua violation BTW. It is hard to explain everything but there is more on the internet. I don't hate doctor. Phil but he has had me raising eyebrows since around when I turned 13. I can't deny that he does some good but his bad in many situations outweigh the good. I learned about all of this in 2019 so there is a chance that something may have changed since then and what I said is no longer true. Do you research when it comes to this situation because of so? DJ Khaled. His Instagram is filled with videos of him being totally obnoxious, asking his chef what's for dinner only to interrupt her immediately with some dumb catchphrase for the camera, and his recent video where he tries to play the guitar he got from the Molly family is a desecration of Bob Molly's memory. Chris Brown. A verbal argument ensued and Chris Brown pulled the vehicle over on an unknown street, reached over Robin F. with his right hand, opened the car door and attempted to force her out. Brown was unable to force Robin F. out of the vehicle because she was wearing a seatbelt. When he could not force her to exit, he took his right hand and shoved her head against the passenger window of the vehicle, causing an approximate 1 inch raised circular contusion. Robin F. turned to face Brown and he punched her in the left eye with his right hand. He then drove away in the vehicle and continued to punch her in the face with his right hand while steering the vehicle with his left hand. The assault caused Robin F's mouth to fill with blood and blood to splatter all over her clothing and the interior of the vehicle. Brown looked at Robin F and stated, I'm going to beat the crap out of you when we get home. You wait and see. The detective said Robin F then used her cell phone to call her personal assistant Jennifer Rosales, who did not answer. Robin F pretended to talk to her and stated, I'm on my way home. Make sure the police are there when I get there. After Robin F faked the call. Brown looked at her and stated, you just did the stupidest thing ever. Now I'm really going to kill you. Brown resumed punching Robin F. And she interlocked her fingers behind her head and brought her elbows forward to protect her face. She then bent over at the waist, placing her elbows and face near her lap in an attempt to protect her face and head from the barrage of punches being levied upon her by Brown. Brown continued to punch Robin F. on her left arm and hand, causing her to suffer a contusion on her left triceps. Sick. That was approximately 2 inches in diameter and numerous contusions on her left hand. Robin F. then attempted to send a text message to her other personal assistant, Melissa Ford. Brown snatched the cellular telephone out of her hand and threw it out of the window onto an unknown street. Brown continued driving and Robin F. observed his cellular telephone sitting in his lap. She picked up the cellular telephone with her left hand and before she could make a call he placed her in a headlock with his right hand and continued to drive the vehicle with his left hand. Brown pulled Robin F. 
close to him and bit her on her left ear. She was able to feel the vehicle swerving from right to left as Brown sped away. He stopped the vehicle in front of 333 North June Street and Robin F. Turned off the car, removed the key from the ignition and sat on it. Brown did not know what she did with the key and began punching her in the face and arms. He then placed her in a headlock positioning the front of her throat between his bicep and forearm. Brown began applying pressure to Robin F's left and right carotid arteries, causing her to be unable to breathe and she began to lose consciousness. She reached up with her left hand and began attempting to gouge his eyes in an attempt to free herself. Brown bit her left ring and middle fingers and then released her, while Brown continued to punch her. She turned around and placed her back against the passenger door. She brought her knees to her chest, placed her feet against Brown's body and began pushing him away. Brown continued to punch her on the legs and feet, causing several contusions. Robin F. began screaming for help and Brown exited the vehicle and walked away. A resident in the neighborhood heard Robin F.'s plea for help and called 911, causing a police response. An investigation was conducted and Robin F was issued a domestic violence emergency protective order. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.